The onslaught trial challenges a hunter to withstand the ebb and flow of combat. Machines will be released into the arenas in waves. Pace yourself. Strategize. Only then will you be able to defeat them all without being overwhelmed. We'll start when you hit the snow at the bottom of that rope. We'll need a moment to pull the machines from the pass into the arenas. Then make your descent. Since we already got what we needed for our attack... Let's see what this blue gleam is worth. Oh my goodness. I think I'm tempted to say that I'll just try these trials once. I'm not gonna like obsessively try to keep doing them. Okay. Uh, I don't know where they come from. So having some AOE would be really good here, wouldn't it? Maybe I need to use some other weapons. The the storm slinger is really good, but it's also really dangerous. What about the sling? Sling might be okay. Yeah, the blast sling. I kind of want to use this for now. But what would I replace it with? Yeah, I guess we can do that. See how it goes. Oh, but I need to craft some of this. I guess the first thing I should do when I go down is put down some traps too, just because I can. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, let's give it a go. After I craft some arrows. Shock, I don't use it too much. This one, nah. Right. I guess I'll start off with fire arrows, because fire I'll might- save the shooting for down in the hunting ground. I can't knock, okay. Sure. Coming. Didn't even get them. Lovely. Oh, I really need to like- Ah! I really need to get the eye. <laughs> I'm not doing too hot on the time here, am I? Not at all. Here we go. I mean, that wasn't the best time at all. Could have been better, but it's okay. Down here. Time to move on. Next area. Oh, oh, there's multiple areas. You should have told me that to begin with. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with stealth here. <laughs> All of you just die. I'm okay with this. Whoa! Ah! Uh, these aren't watchers anymore. Not all of them, anyway. So I have to be a little careful here. Maybe more of this stuff? That's good. Ow! That was crazy. Where are we looking? Where are they coming from? Whoa! That kind of worked. Maybe I should have overwritten that one. This is messy, but it's working out, so... Yeah, whatever. Holy crap. Our timing is not going to be the greatest, but... At least I can say that I gave it a try. 
Should I be using a mount here? Oh my gosh, that's so far away. These are pretty good. Yes. That'll help. Oh! Here we go. We got that. Oh. We good here? No, I think we didn't, um... Kind of brute forced all of them. Uh, Gotta get out of here. Gotta aim better with this thing. Whoa! Okay, maybe I'll. Did I get second place? Eh, well, it's not too bad for the first run, I guess. We had to run all over the place, too. That wasted a lot of time. Oh, man. How was that? Now we gotta walk all the way back? It's like the walk of shame. <gasps> Dang. Here? Pick up some of these, recover some of my... Resources. The blast sling is really strong. Yeah, that wasn't. It's not really one that I used too much at all during the main continent stuff, but I guess I should be using a little bit more. It's not the most accurate, but yeah. I kind of miss not having a terror blast thing though. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. You know, I don't think I'll be using the Storm Slinger all that much, so I should be taking out the Storm Slinger in favor of the Blast Sling, maybe. <sighs> Your first run on that trial and you claimed second place. I haven't seen many pull that off. Good enough. What's this one? This trial is the most dangerous ordeal in the Snow Chance. While not all chieftains pass it, only a chieftain may attempt it. Oh, all right, I'll be back. No more trials, not yet. You can always come back. I will, I will. Maybe when we get to challenge our attack, this is where we'll need to come to. Well, that was a nice little thing. Not nearly as painful as I thought it would be, although still kind of painful. Yeah, so for the weapons, I think what I'm gonna do is take out the Storm Slinger. It's nice, but I just don't- it's very dangerous. So, I would prefer to not have that danger looming around me. And I'm gonna put the Blast Sling... ...on here. And the... the other bow. Sharp shot bow? I'll put it here. Three bows and a sling. Rope caster? I don't think that's really appropriate here, because everything is so big, it's just... There's not much sense in trying to tie them down. Oh, So that's one thing for the proving myself part. And... Uh, should we try heading... Northern? To get the rail part? I guess so. I never realized the Storm Slinger was like that. The whole time, I thought it was just like the Terror Blaster. Kind of like a little shotgun. But dang. It's actually quite lethal. Oh. Do I want to use a mount here? What's the sound? Oh, I need some squirrels and stuff too. Guys. Where are you guys? 
It turned back as soon as it saw me. Unfortunately, it didn't run fast enough. What is that sound? Something. House? Whoa, 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 I'm in the river. Some sort of a hut here. And the snow is letting up. Nice. <sighs> Feels like if I blink, my eyes will freeze shut. <laughs> Old world place again. Must be the cave that shaman told me about. Long way down. And not natural either. <laughs> oh no, you can never tell what's gonna be done there. Aww. Let's get the figure first, just on the off chance that when we come back out, we don't know where we are. Ah, so that cave. It's not actually a cave. I thought it was gonna be like a rock cave, but no, not quite. Yeah, we're actually walking a little further away from it because of the stupid dynamic thing. Never know when I might need these. Nope. Bear. Where are the squirrels? Not here just yet. Oh, this is the last figurine too, so if we- <gasps> Hey, it's a Karja person! Last request, a sheaf of frozen parchment. Inscribed with messily, hastily, messy, hastily drawn Karja glyphs. O oh son, this may be my last record in a cold and friendless land. To your years, I admit my mistake following in the well-traveled Aram's footsteps, lacking his experience or snowshoes. Yet I had always dreamed of seeing the land of the Banuk for myself. For my folly, I have been buffeted by blizzards chased by machines and pressed to what must be the very gates of Ban-Ur. I trust there are watchtowers above, and that the Banuk will not leave a traveler to his death. But the wind drowns up my calls for aid, and any sign I make is fast extinguished. My only hope is to huddle here and wait for a break in the snow, even as I hear my pursuers drawing ever closer. O oh son, should this be the end, See to it that my worldly possessions are distributed equally among my five cousins, and my flower garden in Bright Market is watered regularly, twice daily, for the rust bells in my memory. Mm. This guy's from Bright Market. He's a long way from home. Oh. I wish I could bury you or do something for you. Maybe we can go water his stuff, his plants <laughs> at Bright Market. So no, I don't think we can go past here. But the... Animal figurine. It should be... Clear as day where it is, yet I can't. <laughs> is it below ground? Like, what is that space? Oh, what if it's inside the cave? Wouldn't that be messed up? If it's underground inside the cave, that would be messed up. <laughs> Going down fast. And it makes sense, because that's part of the old world, so you find a... Oh god. Well, I don't know where it is. Uh, Maybe I gave up too fast? Just didn't seem like it was anywhere here. I'll try again. Yeah, once we get up here... That thing points down. I think we've made a mistake here. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't even care about the blue gleam. Let's go here. So sad. Look at how nice the sun is. But now we're going back in here. We better be careful too. Oh god. Alright. Let's just knock a few arrows just in case. The moment we get down there. 
Oh, God. Well, that's great. We won't be alone down here. And everyone knows we're here now. Whoa! Here's one of the metal birds. That's like a hanger. Oh. I'm not sure if that was blue gleam from the outs- Can we see that on the outside? No. Okay. Whoa. So futuristic looking. <laughs> I say that, but this is the future. Right now, this is the future. I'll tuck that away. Gonna need a lot of those. Thanks. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> nice jump. An animal carving. From long ago. There it was. And that's the last one. Waiting for the picture. It's a deer. Cool. Just have to go up. Oh, we probably come out of this place later on. If I could move that flying machine over a little. Oh. Can we move it? Hold on. What exactly are you looking for? We're up here. Oh, probably controlling the flying machine over here. Check the area with my focus, maybe. Hold on, hold on. This console? Still works. Huh, not so grounded after all. Now I can get across. It's not grounded at all. Damaged. Guess the Banuke already got to it. Damaged mounting rail. Damaged by an inexpert part removal. Hmm. Oh, okay. So we're actually going in that way. I thought we were coming out of that. Oh. oh. Something's been hacked out of it. Maybe I can find another of these flying machines. And get the rail part? That's not how it was supposed to go. Hey, we can peek inside! No? Oh, I feel like it was meant for me to peek inside like that, but I guess not. Not quite. Ooh, the wing! I just noticed it, but it's like... Hold it up. There we go. Ah! There's the door lock. I'll need to configure it. Hollow lock reset. If those punk technicians think I'm gonna sleep on them waltzing in here and screwing around with the drone routines, <laughs> they have seriously underestimated my sense of mission. Let's just reset that hollow lock. Echo, Sierra, echo. Echo, Sierra, echo. Oh. I guess that's what that means. To request entry, contact security chief Blevins. Do I need Echo Sierra Echo? Maybe not. No, I didn't. There shouldn't be any machines in here. Wow. What is this place? What was Project Firebreak? Whoa! Maybe to do with the... The spirits. And the demons. Oh, we're inside that little area that I peeked in. I'd have to ditch something. It's fine. I understand, Mr. Blevins. I didn't ask for a bunch of flying cameras. I need security, not surveillance. And security means 
firepower. As God is my witness, I will not be caught squirting blanks if and when a major act of terrorism desecrates these facilities. <laughs> Miss Pines, Dodd Blevins. Right now I'm looking at a security drone. It was requisitioned from Ferro Automated Industries to serve the needs of the Firebreak project. It is, in fact, one of an entire fleet handpicked by me and a lot of for our use by Ted Farrow. Humanity's greatest hero, Ted Farrow. Yes, the man's so far above you on the ladder that he might as well be God. And I have a direct line to your father in heaven. Now, you and I had a conversation in which I tried to impart to you the sensitive nature of our project. And if I recall correctly, you said, I understand, Mr. Blevins. I took you at your word, which apparently was a flaw in my judgment. Since you have sent me a goddamn fleet of flying CCTV cameras and a bunch of jerk-off eggheads who think they know more about protecting this country than I do, they might. Now, your technicians are going to provide me with the firepower I need to prevent a major act of terrorism from occurring in or around my facilities, and they are going to do so without increasing our project budget. Because, Miss Pines, this is your screw-up, and I am a reasonable man, but so help me. If you add another cent to Firebreak's balance sheet, balance sheet, I will see to it that you, you personally, answer to Mr. Farrow and his board of directors. So I want you to call me back. I want you to leave me a message. I want that message to consist of four little words. I understand, Mr. Blevins, and this time, I want you to mean them. Oh, this guy is like a grade A asshat. <laughs> but maybe he's a bit of a penny pincher, huh? not affecting the budget, so maybe it's nice to have someone like this managing costs, but you would have to be really careful with it, because everybody else on the team clearly would hate him. <laughs> maybe I can trade this blue gleam. Aloy? Shh. No one's touched this machine since it got sealed in here. Oh. Mounting rail. Shouldn't be hard to remove. You look so sketchy. I'll show it to that shaman when I'm back in Song's Edge. Ban him from Harris Bonner. Oops. Uh oh. Which one was it? Was it this one? Whole no, that's the hollow lock reset. To Kenny. Kenny! I get it, okay? I really do. Pharaoh is Firebreak's patron. Blevins is Pharaoh's lapdog. Circle of ass kicking, ass kissing, blah blah blah. But if you allow Blevins to remain on site, installation is going to take twice as long as we're budgeted for. And I don't know how deep Firebreak's pockets are, but I can guarantee you they're not bottomless. We've just got done recalibrating the entire fleet. The entire fleet, Kenny. Why, I imagine you're wondering? Oh, Kenny, I'm so glad you hypothetically asked. Blevins was unhappy with the baseline behavioral routines of the security drones. You know, the ones he selected himself? Not aggressive enough, he said. I doubt a Rottweiler mounted on an ICBM would be aggressive enough for him. So we patched in some combat behaviors, which, let me tell you, was not easy. Basically outfitted these things for war. Think about that, Kenny. Bleeding edge combat drones patrolling an empty wilderness. Also, Blevins can play army on Firebreak's dime. I'm begging you, Kenny. Find a way to bar him from the hangar, please. Harris. Are these drones related to the machines we have today? Because if so, then is it is it partially Blevins' fault that everything here is so overpowered and have um they have the latest technology in terms of weaponry and all? Oh my god. Humanity's greatest hero, part two. Okay, why are they giving me medicine stuff? Okay. For me. All right. Easy enough. It's not really moving. This is dropping a whole bunch of mines on me. Okay. <laughs> it 
It's just dancing around there for whatever reason. Oh, you made me miss! I don't know what that was supposed to be, but alright. Demonic Stalker. I wonder what they'll trade for Blue Gleam. Yes, Aloy, I'm gonna go back and redeem it soon, alright? Just give me a break. Well, we don't actually even need to walk out of here, do we? One Stalker. Hmm. Yes. So this thing will improve my spear, huh? Yeah, we should go get that done ASAP. And we should go see what the blue gleam can get us, because otherwise it's going to get pretty annoying. We'll pass on these. Yeah, we'll pass. Back over here. What was that guy's name again? Kamut? Gotta get the right quest. Yes. He's really close to the freaking pigment, too. Oh, oh my lord. Let's start here. I Islanders. thought Sun King of Odd was sitting on Origin his hands, Islanders. but he got the prince out with help from his spies. Oh! Nice to have a break. Works hey! So I've never seen these guys! I was like, who's talking about Sun King of Vod here? Uh, oh! Not enough of work. Not enough of my family. What brings you, Karja, so far from your home? There's good machine hunting in the cut. Danger, too. Some have a taste for both, and they pay people like me well to guide them. We've had a bad run this time, even after I brought this priest along to read the signs. I did say the sun's light was cast quite red the night of the... Uh... Not your concern, though, Huntress. May your arrows find their mark. A shame a woman became Sunhawk of the Lodge. What? But at least she did it to honor the men of her house. Oh my god, you sexist woman. <sighs> May the nice sun grant you a, feet for a, minute. a portion of its wisdom, young huntress. <clears throat> the sun is not something that comes up too the much in these cold places, huh? I never even noticed those random Karja people. Tired. Oh, oops. Didn't want to take it off. I'll try again to see if I can find the pigment. Too damned hard. Oh, it's like a little Karja hut. with pride, because I know I earned my place. The sun shines on those who mind their own, so they say. Sorry. I haven't had a break in ages. Why are you guys here? I've never broken bread with an outlander. You are an outlander. <laughs> You're not a noble. Oh, it's good to be sitting down. May the sun light your way. Thank you. I just want a moment's peace. Sorry. Sorry. I don't think we've been here, even though I have a campfire here. I might have just gone close to it, but not actually... Yeah, not actually stepped foot in it. Hmm. Well, good to know. There's a little Karja camp right here. Okay. Finding the pigment, part two. Maybe my perspective will be different this time, because I'm coming from some other place. I can see already, though, like, not finding it again. Oh, God. It's supposed to be like here, <laughs> but not. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, <gasps> it's right here! Oh, it was right on top of this thing! Oh, are you kidding me? Sakuli will want this. That's why I never saw it. A light colored salt. Ah, now we're just missing one for this too. I guess we're coming near the end of this, huh? Ah, uh, it's always such a pleasure to be wandering around these lands that when we get close to the end, it's kind of a shame. <laughs> okay, okay. We want to go talk to Kamut to ask for a rail park. Right here. Is this way- Hush, hush. A shaman's secrets are not spoken aloud. Is this what you wanted me to find? <laughs> find it to your spear. Use it to attach this for now. You'll find more, I'm sure. Why are you helping me? 
The blue light is fading. The machine songs are ending. And, and what does the conclave do? They sit, they chant, they observe. No more. We must fight for it. And you? You are a fighter. We share a cause. I'm not sure we do. I'm not even sure what the cause is. But I'm grateful. No need for thanks. Only action. Now I can attach modification parts to my spear. Works for me. Might as well get started improving my spear. Okay, go to my treasure boxes and grab a... Spear mod, did it just say? Ah. Oh! The triangle, is that a spear mod? And then I go to the weapon? Ah. Oh, I even... I sold some of my spear mods because I thought they were garbage. <laughs> That's okay. Because all I was looking at was the color of the thing and I'm like, ah, we don't need it. <laughs> Maybe I can buy some of it back? I don't know. I don't know if it's just because it's been too long since I played the main game, but it feels like um, all the animations were talking. People actually have body language and gestures I with their hands. It's uh, It feels a lot more well animated the than the first the one, where it was mostly just close-ups, which is really nice. Can we go talk to a merchant? Because Aloy... Aloy's gonna tell me about the blue gleam again if I don't. Welcome to the cut, stranger. Thank you. Oh! No, I don't need to challenge Aratak just yet, do I? I don't think so. All I'm looking for is the merchant. Yeah, buyback. Yeah. <laughs> No, my spear mod is gone. Gosh dang it. Oh well. Well, what do you got for me? How about the outfit? Oh, I'm missing squirrel skin of all things. Of all things. 23 blue gleam. Can we get a nice other weapon with it? Mm, let's try sharp shot bow. Yeah, I guess so. You can put it here. We have nine. Not enough for much more. Okay. Gonna mod my arrow. Gonna mod my bow again. This one. So this is the one with the terror blasting, but the other arrows I don't really use much of at all. Hard point? Yeah. Maybe we should put a whole bunch of tearing on this. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of what we actually need here. Fire is useless to us. Tear? Handling? Put it all on tear. It's the highest tear I have. 44? 41 plus fire? Handling plus tear? Okay, that's good too. Damage does- yeah, I don't- mm, It's not the craziest thing I'm looking for here. Damage plus tear? I guess we could do that. Sure. Cool, now we got two Banuk bows. Good news is that bandits tend to live brief lives. <sighs> bandits. That's right. We still haven't gone back to the bandits. We have to look for the two missing hunters who may still be alive. Or we can go challenge our attack, which I think is not that necessary. Oh. Oh, so we don't have to do all those things. I thought we wanted to do all those things so that we can eventually challenge our attack, but I haven't even given the pigment to Sakuli yet. And they're telling me about this. Hmm. Hmm. The last pigment is next to the bandit camp. I don't even need to go challenge it. But I should, shouldn't I? Yeah. Wow. Aside from collecting blue gleam and like, uh, collectible stuff like that, 
It actually seems like we're coming close to the end of the DLC already. That's a little bit sad. <laughs> well, let's start by going here. No, we want to put the point here and go here. 